Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome back to Passive Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I am Nicole. Uh, I want to say a quick thank you to everybody who has liked, shared, subscribed, and commented to the channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you. For those of you who have booked personal readings, you guys have been keeping me busy. I appreciate all of you for that as well. It's been lovely getting to talk, to chat, talk, whatever word was trying to come out of my mouth uh, with all of you and for sharing your, your personal stuff. So thank you for that. Um, personal readings are open and available. Um, so there's a, there's a bunch of, well, I say a bunch, but there's a few appointments available uh, for next week still. Uh, if you're interested, those uh, that information, if I could talk still, like it's been a thing forever. Um, that information is found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Scorpio, we're just going to go over here like the recent energies, um, what's to come in the, maybe in the next week or so and see what's going on for you guys. See if there's any energies uh, or anything that's switched up or changed here recently um, and we'll see what, what comes out. So I am seeing, well there's a bunch of them, so let me reshuffle these. They're just little, little cards that I have. Um, let's see. All right, Scorps, let's see what's going on here for you. One card, please, Spirit, one card. Spirit's saying telltale, awareness. Awareness comes out with that, and we'll clarify that. Um, okay, you're telling me to get another one. So awareness, I think that's specifically for you, Scorpio. What's going on around you? Love and integrity. Scorpio, if I remember correctly, the word integrity has come out quite a bit for you. Um, don't be afraid to... Um, grace comes out too. Stand in some grace when it comes to a particular situation. Love and integrity also coming out and adventure at the bottom and the reverse. So are we not feeling super adventurous about things? Are we feeling like we've kind of hit a, a pause or not quite sure what we need to do or what we want to do? Um, let's dive in. Let's see what's going on here, Scorps. Let's see what else is floating around in the realms here. What is this awareness about for Scorpio specifically? Finances, Scorpio, you want to pay attention to your finances right now. Um, make sure that you are saving. Make sure you're putting funds away. Um, you know, don't, what's the word I'm looking for? Don't get too crazy with your finances, right? It's kind of a, be conservative. But I'm going to tell you, though, with this lighthouse, guiding light, si guiding light symbol of hope, watchful uh, sent sentinel, I don't know, whatever. Um, Scorpio. This, you know, that lighthouse is the hope. It is the light. It does, it guides, right, ships to the shore. It, it keeps keeps us all, you know, in balance, if I want to call it that. I don't even know if that's the right word. Um, but what I'm going to say to you is um, you're going to want to, um, Spirit is saying put money aside, but also know that money is coming in. So don't, if you're kind of like in a wall or something, like don't think that, all is lost. Like, I don't know what, what the message about that is. Um, maybe you could have overextended yourself a little bit, but uh, at the expense or for the expense of fun. Um, but I think that this is just a little period of time that shows you something about your spending habits. Okay, so it's, it's just an awareness around how you spend, when you should spend, how much to put away. Um, but I'm going to tell you, I don't feel like it's bad. So if it's just things are a little quiet or um, you had everything kind of happen at once, it's going to rebuild. You're going to be perfectly fine. It's just we all have those moments, right? So don't don't freak, don't fret, don't spaz. Like it's going to be completely fine. So let's let's dig a little deeper into this awareness. Um, you know, and I'm going to say this too, Scorpio. Our opposite and equal is Taurus, right? The practical, the tangible the comfortable life. So you could be working on um, balancing that for yourself. That becomes a bit of a challenge for us on that side of the fence, right? Because it's opposite of where we stand and what we understand. Um, so you could be really investing, working on your finances at this time, nurturing them and, and really beginning to understand different things or different ways of saving and um, your expenditures and just across the board. So I don't think that this is, I don't think it's a bad thing. I really don't. Now, some of you too, um, you could be going to a bank for loans, uh, opening up new savings accounts, investing into particular things. Uh, they could be extending your line of credit. I'm going to say specifically, if any of you have a credit limit of like $300, um, they're showing me a boost to like $700 or $1,000. So all of a sudden, uh, it's starting to heal the pain around uh, 
financial burdens and stuff like that. So there, there is something that's coming in for you here to the positive, even though the Three of Swords is sitting there. You are. You're learning how to discern your money management choices, really, at the end of the day. Um, that Queen of Pentacles is like, it's also a reminder, like, you know, everything you work for, how much time, energy, and effort you've put into things, uh, you know, it, it's you want things that are positive and stress relieving through things like that right by the way that you work and do ten of cups emotional fulfillment i mean it's scorpio i see <laughs> you could be dealing with a taurus or a libra it does not have to be um but this is it's like you're finding it's like your love and your money is going to balance i've talked about this before we'll talk about it again emotionally you're trying to find the things that work so three of pentacles coming out sideways in regards to your your personal investments whether it's emotionally <sighs> Um, financially, whatever it is, there's the magician. I like that, the devil energy, though. Um, somebody around you could be manipulating money or trying to manipulate money to their advantage in a particular situation, so be aware of that. It may pertain to your children, so maybe you've got a, a, a um, oh, co-parent, that's the word I'm looking for, that maybe isn't paying their fair share. They're not doing what they're supposed to do financially. You may be finding that some of those burdens are on you at this time. There's the Nine of Wands, the Emperor. Scorpio, though, like, I feel like you're, you are moving with integrity in this. Like You're, you're just trying to find that fine-tuning structure around finances right now, and I do think that you're going to be perfectly fine. As I say that, there comes the Will of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Emperor again, along with the Page of Cups. So it is. This is a slow, a slow rebuild, a slow build up. I think that most of you um, are doing well, you know, in general, like not super stressed. I mean, we could, could we all use more money, absolutely, right? I mean, that's the thing. Um, but I do think that right now, maybe part of this is some of you could have been needing to take a time out, slow down, retreat or re not retrieve, reprieve for a little while waiting for things to kind of change like there's a little bit of a spirit's calling it a shake up so it's like let that shake up just kind of balance out there's something there that needed to happen but this is going to turn out in a positive uh forecast for you is what they're calling it so don't don't fret those kind of things scorpio if that's what you're dealing with there is light at the end of the tunnel here um and it, they're just like shuffled and came back out four of swords you're doing something, whether it's for you and your children, for you and your home, for just you yourself. Um, but it's like spirit sees the, the work that you're doing. Uh, you know, you don't really have to worry about it. There's that lighthouse again. So let's, let's shuffle here and see what else comes out. Love and integrity, the spirit. Let's clarify. Two or three. All right, we'll take them. Jim, some of you could be focused on your health right now. Um, just you know maybe wanting to move just get up and move when I say that that sounds pretty whatever um but just you know taking walks doing things that are going to like physically induce endorphins on the body right and dopamines those feel good energies that we get after you know maybe just not feeling our best again no needing to rest home comfort familiarity security belonging personal space you could be wanting to spend some time alone right now um, window, you know, looking out into the world in the bathroom, uh, pristine cleanliness, water and renewal. Some of you could just be right now in this, this space of rest. Scorpio, I'm going to say over the next five days specifically is what spirit is giving me. I'm going to recalibrate here. Three to five days. You may just be like, I don't really want to do much. I'm not feeling a certain kind of vibe. Like I just need time to retreat rest get some good sleep get some exercise like it's like literally just watering your well right taking care of you um maybe some of you could be playing with plants needing to be out in nature watering a garden cleaning your home doing some purging soaking in the tub sitting by water like these four things that come out with this love and integrity is like you nurturing yourself and knowing when it's time to take a reprieve knowing when it's time to just give yourself the rest that you need. There's a lot of energy here about rest and recuperation and just taking care of the body itself. And I think that's kind of where you are. And I think after this small period is over, that's when you're going to see your finances balance back out and really start to soar. Um, I usually don't do money readings, but this is how this is coming out, which is totally cool. All right, let's see here. What else? Spirit, clarify home, window, bathroom. Um, some of you could be spending some time with somebody else, High Priestess. 
Um, I feel like your body, your mind has been urging you, Empress and the Page of Wands, to take this break. Um, you could almost feel like sometimes your much needed rest is kind of cheated. You're you know, getting cheated out of that. Other people could be like, where have you been? What have you been doing? You're at a distance. And there's the, um, the Eight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Three of Wands, the Five of Swords. So this is just like, okay, like I've worn myself out mentally. I'm exhausted. I'm feeling stuck at this point. I'm just kind of hanging on to my, my pentacles. Like I've really worked hard. Um, I need balance. And I think balance here, here for you, Scorpio, right now is just taking care of thyself. Um, and if you need to take what's rightfully yours to go do that and someone wants to accuse you of being some kind of way, then let them. I think this is a really nurturing energy for yourself right now because you're going to come out of this in this three to five day period just totally fucking renewed. Um, what comes after this spirit? What comes after this for Scorpio? The tower comes out sideways. Um, for some of you in this other energy with um, finances, again, lessons learned, tower energy there. Scorpio, there you are. Wheel of Fortune, there you are as well. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius also. Um, where it's like, I could have done better. I could have done worse on something. Some of you could have made a big purchase as well. Um, didn't completely rock your foundations, but the energy was there that it could have done more damage to. So it's kind of like, I feel like spirit was on your side with whatever this was over here in regards to money. Um, spirit for Scorpio. I'm going to take that over there because that's where it landed. So we're going to leave it there. What is this? Queen of Swords. See the moon, Cancerian energy. So we just had the new moon yesterday, so we're still sitting in that new moon energy. Uh, this could have a lot to do with cycles. This could have something to do with libido. This could have something to do with love, comforts of home, love and comforts of dealing with somebody else. Um, this is your own celebration, working on your foundation, Scorpio, not only for yourself, but for those that you love and care for. Um, there's a big need, like, I get, I'm going to repeat what I said the other day in the one reading for you all. Pay attention to your dreams. That Queen of Swords, there's some very important energy that's coming in via the, the dream state. There's, you know, you've got the, the moon, you've got the Four of Swords there, you've got this home, you've got this bathroom. Um, there's a lot coming in around the home. And I also feel like some of you are really waiting for a change in regards to home space. So whether this is moving, this is um, moving in with somebody. This is just, a, I'm gonna, I don't want to even call it simple. It feels like a simple change in one way, but to make these things happen, it's requiring a lot of strength from you to get this done. Uh, the devil, you know, and the Taurus. I'm going to tell you, King of, King of Pentacles, somebody, Scorpio, I would be very cautious of who you're sharing, your dreams, your hopes, your money, your information about yourself to other people because this king of pentacles it's like somebody with that devil is someone is is manipulating money somebody is not being honest about something um somebody could even be looking at you for a free ride so be very careful of that energy because i don't like the way it's presenting itself because it could depending on who and what you're dealing with uh could upheaval some things in your life if you're not very careful. Um, and I think I remember saying something similar to that in the last reading that I did for you all the other day. Um, this could be a period after a period of time that you walked away from somebody and they're kind of coming back in and around in regards to money, finances. Um, just be, just be careful. I don't know how else to say that. Just be it almost kind of gives me the sense of a false victory with something or somebody. Like, why are they around? So I would be extremely mindful of what that's about, okay? Um, I, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't really trust it, okay? So um, does the person you are, or the person you are dealing with, do they stand in integrity? So I'm, I'm curious to see, let's see, who is this person? Who is the situation or what is the situation? Knight of Pentacles. Who is this that Scorpio might be dealing with spirit in regards to this manipulation around money and finances? Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, does not have to be. Um, 
Scorpio, I feel like somebody is watching you balance and up level here. Queen of Cups, yeah, there, that's all you right there. Um, you're coming in with a very loving energy, Ace of Cups and the Love card there sitting. Um, where you're just, it's like, if you went through a period of like having next to nothing and you've built yourself up to this Knight of Pentacles, like I got a few extra coins, I got a few extra of uh, my time, I got a little bit extra love to give. Like if you're feeling like a giver right now, that Knight of Cups, um, just be careful who you're giving to. <laughs> okay, you really wanna be mindful of who you're giving to at this time. Um, they may seem like a good time, a fun time, but there's something here around there's some kind of truth that's not being communicated. There could be some period of silence, too, with this uh, High Priestess and this Page of Swords in reverse. Um, Scorpio, there, this has taken a quick turn. Um, somebody here is hurting, right? Three of Swords in the reverse. Spirit is saying financially. You, you yourself may have your highs and lows, okay? I'm going to say this to you. You yourself may have some highs and lows when it comes to finances right now. You're coming out on the other side in a positive upswing with this Wheel of Fortune. You're, you're manifesting your way through, through life right now and you're doing a fine job of it, even with that tower there. Um, but Scorpio, I feel like somebody else, uh, if they were taking from you at some point or whatever, Queen of Swords again, seven, yeah, there's that damn devil card attached to your money again. Um, if they were taking from you at some point and causing confusion around what you're supposed to be doing, you need to be very mindful of that. Um, because I feel like this person kind of lies in the shadows in a particular situation. It's going to be different for all of you. The only time they extend their hand to you is enough, long enough to cause confusion and then kind of suck you in, bleed you dry, and then check out again. Um, you may have recently caused some kind of tower moment for this person. So let's just say, you know, child support, a divorce, um, I don't know, whatever, in any way that anybody could owe you money, all right? Um, they're being very calculated, very dry, and trying to cause confusion around a particular situation. So you need to be mindful of that um, because not only is, like, what you're dealing with, going like through these flows of ups and downs, but this win that you have or have gotten or will get is creating some kind of tower moment for them too. And I don't think it's so much that it's a tower moment and they can't afford it, whatever that means. It's more so they, their ego could have been hurt. Okay, it's got something to do with their own personal issues because they're talking away their emotions here. So what else? What else about this person Scorpio is dealing with? What else do they need? Five of Pentacles. Maybe they are hurting. Um, you know, I think it's more so Scorpio, the idea that they have to give to you. And, and there you are, Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. They have to give to you, and that's not something they want to do, the Five of, of Wands. And they want to just walk away from a situation here scot-free, and I, I don't... <laughs> King, there's that King of Pentacles again, I'm telling you. Heavy Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy when it comes to the finances, guys. Um, this side note, Spirit is also saying that in the past five years, if you have dealt with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn and there were a lot of issues concerning money, they are now having to pay the price. There's your karma. There is the balance. You are healing that Queen of Cups, that Temperance card, Knight of Pentacles. You are healing your way through a financial situation. Emotionally, you're feeling better about it. Maybe it's not perfect. Maybe there's those highs and lows. But Scorpio, you're coming out victorious by way of just releasing the confusion that was tied to a situation in the past. Like you finally have let it go. You've set yourself free from some kind of constraint here. Um, this person is now beginning to feel that pinch. You know, maybe they had everything, they took everything, they did everything in the past, but now all of a sudden the tides are turning, the tables have flipped. They are now starting to realize what it is to struggle emotionally, mentally, financially. They're starting to feel the pressures and the burden of what they've placed on you before. Um, and I'm going to tell you, 
side note, if this is where this person is, you need to protect yourself. Like if you're, if you're watching your money flow up and down and maybe it's down a little bit longer than it has been in a while, protect yourself, protect your money, um, you know, rituals, spell work, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, work with the phases of the moon, you, you know, sage, Palo Santo, protect your energy, say prayers, say affirmations, because they understand this person wants you in the same place they've been or where they are, where they're going, right? Because now it's, they're finally feeling the pinch of a particular situation here. So they want you to feel that too. So even though, you know, you may not even have any contact with this person, who knows? Um, but that energy they're sending out is, it's like they're trying to affect how you are doing. They may be watching you. They may know that you're doing well. Um, like I'm spirit saying they don't even want to hear about you anymore. They're sick. Scorpio, they're sick of you, right? Um, but they're trying to manipulate your money in the process by, by way of thoughts, words, actions, maybe talking to other people about it. Um, they're, they're, they're having a hard time. They may not, they may show up like everything is fine on the surface if you do have contact with them, but they're not, they're not doing well. Um, they may have somebody, there's the Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, this very heavy, sad, uh, Taurus, Libra, energy, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. They may be showing up like everything is fine, um, Six of Pentacles, but they're going to have to give to you, High Priestess. When they do, it, it, it's, I'm going to call it up for interpretation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy with the King of Swords. Um, High Priestess popping out here twice, Scorpio. You could be very intuitive. I also feel like you're pushing, like you're kind of a driving force behind something. If somebody owes you something, you're like, when are you going to do a damn thing? Just, just correct your wrongs, make it right, right? Um, so there's definitely something going on with that. Let me see. What is this high priestess about, spirit? High priestess for Scorpio. Whoa. High Priestess for Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune. Hold on. Four of Swords. Uh, there it, again, once you come out of this, this rest period, right? That High Priestess Scorpio, 110%, it's got you all over it. Like, you know, here it is. This King of Pentacles, his ten is being knocked to the five and him having to give that away is really making him feel less than human, right? Because it's like you're taking parts of his ten, uh, to do, uh, reducing him to four or five pentacles, and that's having, having to be given to you. There you are, hand out, right? You owe me. Um, four of swords in the reverse, coming out of that period of recuperation and rest like I talked about in the very beginning, turning you into the ten of pentacles and the eight of pentacles, you continuous, continuously working to build what you've already started and invested in, right? Will of Fortune, the I said it's going to require strength. There it is. Lovers, this could be dealing with a Gemini or the Leo. It does not have to be. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, once again. You could be coming together with somebody, a soulmate as well, during this period of time. Scorpio, whether this is a lover, a friend, a family member, something like that. Three of Wands, expansion, expansion and travel. Changing, it's like you're changing your end game too, over something, about something. Um, you're paying far more attention. It almost kind of gives me like a, a hunter looking out the scope of his rifle, like ready to take somebody or something out. Uh, and I say that in the sense that um, you're watching. Scorpio, there could be somebody else watching you as well. Like I get this, this feeling of watching with the three of wands. Um, someone is also realizing you're not to be played with. That perspective of the hangman being hung upside down, like putting his ass out to dry, five of swords, nine of swords, somebody's realizing you you, you cannot be played for a fool. Uh, and I, I think, actually, now that I say this, now that I think about this, what did I say something to you guys about, like somebody owed you 20 bucks? I think that was Scorpio's reading. They owed you 20 bucks. Like, don't ask, you know, don't expect to get it back kind of thing. 
somebody's being forced to pay up here. Somebody's being forced to do their part. And I'm going to tell you, Scorpio, like they're watching you like a hawk. Whatever that is, that they, they're paying very close attention to whether or not, like what you're doing. And you're equally paying attention to whether or not they're going to uphold their end of the deal. Um, <coughs> there, there's something very heavy about that energy coming in. It's kind of like, um, you know where to keep your eyes peeled for certain things. Um, it's like a suspicious energy that I'm feeling. And then with them, it's like they're cold, callous, angry, jealous. Delib Spirit saying deliberate in what they do. I, I don't like the energy that comes in with them, but also understand like they're at a period or a point of desperation. The emperor, they're trying to keep control. And as I say, four of pentacles in the strength of they're trying to keep control of the situation right now. Um, maybe, you know, again, tides have turned, tables have turned. Um, where were they were once the emperor? Page of, or knight, knight of cups. Six of pentacles. Mother of, that queen of swords again. They're being forced to give. There's the lover's card again. Somebody here, whether this is financial or not, somebody here is being forced to have to do their part. And Scorpio, right now, I think this rest period for you is just to sit back and watch and see what happens. You just have to wait and see how this plays out because other people around you have choices to make, whether or not they're going to act in integrity, if they're going to do their part. And I think that you're showing up in a way that is a bit surprising to other people. Like, nobody's expecting this from you. You know, maybe before that $20, you know, we talked about that, like, you would have just given it to them without, you know never even giving it a second thought and now you're just like no or someone saying hey you know let us, let's let's just let this be a gift no you gotta do your part um in <clears throat> scorpio in the past if you weren't able to do your part for whatever reason and now you're like standing up in integrity and handling things in the, the most appropriate way um it's like you're shocking somebody Like, they don't know. There's that King of Pentacles again. You gotta be kidding. That's the third time, three decks, that King of Pentacles has come out. Scorpio, you have bossed up to a King of Pentacles. And, and it's like, and I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to money, um, some of you could have found real strong imbalances in your relationships when it comes to money with love mixed in the middle of it like when when love was a thing it had to do with money or stability or security or something to that effect and now you have shown you can do this on your own you don't need someone attached to that to do this you're able to do it for yourself of course they want back in they want their own reprieve they want to get off the hook for something they owe or should have done you don't, Scorpio, if you've ever had a situation in your life where you have felt attached to another person for the sake of stability, nix that shit right now. You do not need a husband. You do not need a wife. You do not need a partner to be stable in life. You can make your own way forward. And funny, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking about two conversations that I've had with clients this week. Very similar. You don't need somebody else to take care of you. You can take care of you. Big energy. And you know what? In Gemini season, there could have been a judgment, a ruling, uh, a decision in general um, that was passed that says this is what's going to go down. This is how it's going to be. Um, somebody may not have been too happy with that. What else does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? Queen of Wands, the Strength card, the Hair Font. Somebody is having a real hard time understanding 
your boundaries. Um, five of Cups, Page of Swords, Three of Cups. Scorpio, somebody is... There could be people questioning you about your money, your finances. Um, it's almost like gives me this feeling of interrogation. Um, you've got support though, whatever that means to you. You don't owe anybody a damn explanation for anything. Unless they're paying your bills, you owe nobody an explanation for anything period. None of their business. None. Who the fuck cares? Um, Spirit is also directing me to the fact that someone, I, I see like a phone call happening between, uh, so, you know, two people and someone saying, well, how can you afford that? I fucking worked for it. Thanks for asking. What do most people do? You, you, again, I'm going to reiterate, you do not owe anybody an explanation. You just do you. Wow. Break free, Scorpio. Mi miracles, your worth. Because I'm going to tell you, the second you realize what you're worth, not only do you feel better, but your money increases. There's no way around it. None. None. Don't... Take people's judgments and tell them to stick it up their ass. And I'm going to tell you, too, if you're in a co-parent situation and you're waiting for your co-parent to pay money and, of course, they get ass hurt, some of them do, not all of them, because they have to pay to take care of their children, sir, ma'am, whatever, that money isn't to get my nails done. That money isn't to make my truck payment. That money is to take care of your child, and it is an obligation of being a parent. So too bad, tough shit. You know, like, whew, Scorpio. Good Lord almighty, what have I gotten into today with you guys? Advice for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Advice for Scorpio, focus. Keep your focus and your eye on the prize, Scorpio, moving forward. Um, pay attention to things you want to create. Do not, do not be afraid to speak up for yourself. And I'm not saying by way of giving a person who does not deserve an explanation, an explanation. This is bluntly saying it's none of your damn business. Screw you. I owe you nothing. Get on your way. There's nothing more here to be said. You know? You know, it's like the more and more you step back from them and retract your energy from them, the more and more you work on yourself, uh, the more and more they think that they've got a right to, to know because now they're out of the know. Like, there's nothing that they can know, right? Um, you're cutting off sources of explanations. And I'm going to tell you to, again, be careful with who you're telling your money matters to. If you get a big-ass bonus for something, shut up. Nobody needs to know. Zip it. But Spirit just said there's more prosperity on the way, but close your mouth. He said, this is a test. I don't know what the test is, but it's a test. Lighten up. Be, be genuine with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind with the people that you're dealing with um, that truly have your back, right? What else for Scorpio when it comes to their money spirit? What's to come? Advice for Scorpio of money. Just believe. Believe that miracles will occur. This is going to be about your mindset. So make sure you're leaving the self-doubt out. Uh, ground your energy. Work with grounding tools. They're also showing me selenite. Um, believe that the comforts of life of what you are creating is coming. We are in that new moon energy right now still. Use it. Use it. Work with cinnamon. Work with bay leaves. Say your prayers, your affirmations. Make yourself out a new moon check. So you can cash it next month from the universe to yourself. What do you need? Put a dollar amount on that. Write abundance on it. Just like you'd write a bank check. Write that from the universe to you. 
manifestation boards, whatever you guys need, step into the, you know, live it as it is happening. As I say that, let set your prayers, set your affirmations, protect yourself right now. It's manifesting. The wheels with this wheel of fortune coming out twice, they're already in motion. Right now, you need to do nothing but just keep moving forward. Nothing crazy, nothing whatever. Just keep moving forward, Scorpio. Lean and simple. All right, guys, that was a completely different read than usual. I hope that this helped bring clarity to something for you all. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Again, personal reads are open and available. That information can be found in the description box below as well as the about section of the page. Thank you guys so much for all the ways you support and love me. I love you all just as much. Thank you so very much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.